What's up guys and welcome to Idaho Fly Life. So today will be a tying video. We're going to go ahead and tie the pheasant tail soft hackle. This is a variation of the regular American pheasant tail nymph. Uh, you kind of exclude the wing case, exclude the legs and add a soft hackle. Uh, other than that, pretty similar materials. As always, the materials list is in the description down below, but I'm going to go ahead and name them here. So for a hook, I'm going to be using a fire hole sticks number 609. This is their nymph and wet fly hook. Uh, it's one extra large gap. I really like the profile of this hook for this fly. Uh, for the bead, we're using a 330 seconds tungsten bead. It doesn't have to be tungsten. You can use brass if you'd like. Uh, we're going to be using some pheasant tail. That'll be the tail, um, the abdomen. And then for the thorax, we're going to be using some peacock curl. And then for soft tackle, just regular partridge. Let's get started here. Get your hook secured in the vise, making sure that it's level. Uh, thread. So for thread, I believe this is Semperfly. Uh, I want to say it's 18 knot. Let me just double check for you. Yep, uh, it's going to be Semperfly 18 knot Nano Silk in black. Uh, realistically, you can use UTC 70 in black here. I've just been using a lot of the Semperfly thread lately because um, it's really, really tough. Go ahead and start your thread right behind your bead and wrap back over it. Then go ahead and cut your thread, your tag end out. You're not going to need that for this fly. And then continue to wrap backwards, with touching wraps all the way back to where the hook barb would be. Again, these are fire hole sticks hooks. So there is no hook barb, uh, which I prefer. All right, so that first material, you're gonna use some pheasant tail. And you want about five fibers. I say about five, you can use six, you can use four, um, seven and eight work as well. Um, on a size 16, which is what is in the vise right now, I like to use about five. my five fibers. I try and make the tail about three quarters of the length of the body. So it's a little bit of a shorter tail. I pinch it together, hold it at a 45 degree angle. And when you're securing the tails on these, you want to take two very tight wraps, just like that, and then wrap forward. Okay, for the rib, I'm going to go ahead and use some small gold ultra wire. And I'm going to tie that in next. Let's see if I can get that in there. Perfect. Uh, and you know, I, I do about a four inch, three, four inch length on this, uh, and it ties what, five, six flies. So I'll go ahead and tie that in on the near side of the hook, letting it rotate to the top. And that, it's not going to matter that much because it gets covered by everything. So we're just going to run it down the near side of the hook. Again, touching wraps back. And get it right to where that pheasant tail starts. And wrap forward. All right. So now I'm going to wrap this pheasant tail around the hook shank. It's going to be a little bit difficult. You'll be able to do this a lot faster. I just so happen to have a camera in the way. So it takes a little bit more here. Okay. So three wraps. Two thirds, half to two thirds of the body. Go ahead and catch that. And then I do two over the top, one in front, and cut out the excess. Like I said, no wing case. So this excess pheasant tail just goes away. Next thing is I'm going to counter wrap my gold wire here. One. And I like to have three wraps showing. On say for the segmentation of this body, there's three. The fourth wrap ends up right at the end of that abdomen, and then wire goes straight up, go over, behind to capture it, two in front, and then what you can do 
If you really want this wire secure, and I'm going to show you how to do that, is actually do two reversals of thread direction. So go one, go to the other side of your gold wire, reverse your direction again, and then just helicopter to break it off. Okay, next material, peacock hurl. And I'm, I'm using this strong peacock hurl. You know, if you like the peacock hurl from the eye, you can do that as well. It's tying, it's not an exact science. Make it look the way that you want it to look at the end of the day. I'm sure I'm gonna get some criticism on the next step after I tie this in and wrap it. So peacock curl, I tie in right behind the bead, one solid wrap, and then I wrap back over it to the start of the abdomen, come back forward, and then wrap that peacock curl right up to the back of the bead. So in this case, three and a half wraps will do. One behind, two in front, one behind, two in front. And then on peacock curl, it's pretty important that you actually cut this out. If you pull it out because of the shape of the stem on these, if you actually pull it out to break it off, a lot of times you'll get that peacock curl to unravel behind where you've tied it in. It's very inconvenient. So next... All right guys, so I actually do have soft tackle a little bit differently. So I'll take one of those partridge feathers and I'll strip off everything on the low end of the feather and then I'm gonna cut a V-notch like that into it. And what I'll do is I'll take half of the V-notch Put it on this side, I'm going to hold that in place, and I'll wrap the rest around to the far side of that hook. You'll see, when I take a couple of wraps over it, you start to get a nicely soft tackled body, like so, without having to wrap those delicate, delicate partridge feathers. Okay. So from this point, pretty normal. We'll cut out the butt ends here. Hold everything back. Put a few wraps behind it. So it lays those soft tackles down just a little bit, not a ton, just a little bit. And this is the only thing that may take a little bit more time is I also try and orient them while I'm here. Then I'll go ahead and do a whip finish. One, two, three, four, five. Easy enough. And I did not build up behind the bead near well enough, but we're gonna call that good because this fly is still gonna fish just fine. And there you go. Pheasant tail soft tackle, done the easy way. I think Doing soft tackles this way makes it look a little bit more like legs as opposed to that big broad soft tackle you usually get. But uh, yeah, I like that fly. We're gonna go with it. Uh, like I said, this fly will fish really well. Um, you know, hopper dropper, any nymph rig, it's gonna work exactly as intended. But uh, that's it guys. That's I think that's the end of that fly. Uh, if you haven't, if you like this fly, go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, yeah. That's it. Have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video.